that goes. All right. <clears throat> Having an outstanding time. I'm gonna figure this gosh darn thing out, all right? There we have it, matey, matey, matey. <laughs> All right, general interest um, got linked to this by um, by Lisa Loco, who like um, did a whole lot of programming with us um, back in uh, 2015. We did a lot of programming uh, via the Blog Talk Radio Live programs, and then um, fucking we all got older and we can barely program anymore. Hell, we we, we have offspring in this house. Lisa Loco has offspring. Niggas is fucking dating and getting married and shit and finding careers and can I get the goddamn promotion that I'm broke, <laughs> you know, so fucking we're fucking working it out. So, yeah, Lisa Loco linked me to this and it's the um, agulas.co.uk is where I found it because what Lisa Loco linked me to was a, um, a video and it's one of the videos where. You have uh, imagery of what's going on, like B-roll, and then you have text explaining to you what's happening. So I had to go and I just I looked up some key words and um, see what's going on here with the uh, Orkney Islands. All right, this is some uh, some doings out there in uh, what they call Scotland or some some islands. All right, so let, let's dig, dig into this. Right, Agulas.co.uk they don't i'm not seeing a journalist mentioned specifically for this like it just says the outlet name all right so let's look here the orkney islands are leading the transition towards a renewable energy future and that uh that quote comes from kate cerna maybe that's the writer is uh kate cerna c-e-r-n-a all right, um, so tucked away in Scotland's um, far north is um, Archipelago. It could also be Archipelago, which is, um, these are words I've never seen before. And uh, this area is uh, famous for its high cliffs battered by rough seas. Now, it's holding many secrets from its uh, Neolithic past and more recently the future of renewable energy. The Orkney Islands uh, recently voted as uh, best place to live in the UK, the United Kingdom. And that's, uh, I think, because um, I think Scotland voted to like, like, hey, we're going to stay with these niggas. I think that was like um, 2016? I think it was 2016. And um, <clears throat> and uh, so it's voted the best place to live in the UK, and it's uh far uh, they're far at the forefront of technological energy revolution. Once an entirely dependent on coal and oil power from uh, Scottish mainlands, the islands now generate one hundred and twenty percent of their energy locally from renewable sources. This has changed the life. Of or or uh, of Orcadians in many positive ways. All right, that's what they're saying here. I don't actually know myself, right? So I'm I'm going with the journalistic outlet. Um, community wind turbines are generating electricity for local settlements. People are driving cars powered by electricity, and new projects are driving progress in housing development, providing affordable new houses powered by. Guess what? Renewable fucking energy. Get the fuck out of here. Um, a cleaner, greener, fairer, futuristic version of living has become a reality for Orcadians. Now, dancing forward a little bit. Uh, in the past, life on these here dat gum islands, it relied on a whole lot of farming and fishing. This is how people in Scotland talk. Uh, this changed with the uh, discovery of gas and oil in the North Sea, and it was bringing both positive and negatives from the highlands. But however, with declining oil reserves and volatile prices, uh, the end of an era done approach to find, and these here Arcadians are embracing a more sustainable, low-carbon future. There you go. For those of you that were confused about how to do a Scottish accent, that is how it is done. 
the Orkney Islands have become one of the most promising sites for low carbon energy. Researching in the world in 2003, the European Marine Te uh, Energy Center. Ooh. Excuse me, it's not even early, right? It's fucking 1241 p.m. at this goddamn point. I should not be yawning. But the European Marine Energy Center, EMEC, EMEC, was uh, established with funds from the United Kingdom and Scottish government. Um, the EU, which is um, the European Union, and the Orkney Islands Council itself. So a gang, a gang of hands were in the deciding of the decisions. A lot of deciders in chief that you should not misunderestimate. Now the center has become one of the key players in the transformation of Orkney as renewable power provider as a renewable power provider it is the first and only center of its kind in the world to provide developers of both wave and tidal energy converters with technologies that generate electricity by harnessing the power of waves and tidal streams with purpose built grid connect uh, with a with a purpose built grid connected and independently accredited upon uh, C testing facilities all right now uh, let's uh dance it forward a little bit i think this is um very interesting like this kind of shit is doable it can be fucking done right you can go do this shit in washington state you can go do this kind of shit in mississippi go do this shit in fucking california arizona nevada new york maine baltimore do it this shit is doable i mean i think we may have pnr'd it as far as uh, past the point of no return, I think we may have point of no returned it on this climate change shit, but fucking go down swinging. And that's what these white niggas in um, Scotland are indeed doing. Now, creating a surplus in um, locally sourced energy, now uh, new projects aim to uh, overcome local grid constraints, surf and turf, uh, a project uh, that uh, that will take the excess power and use it to produce and, and store hydrogen. While Orkney has um, decarbonized its electricity sector, sea transport is still heavily dependent upon fossil fuels. The new project is underway to develop a hydrogen injection system to power ferries and large vessels. Jesus Christ. It's almost like it's something that you can actually fucking do <laughs> yeah it is and they're goddamn doing it shit they did this shit they hit the 120 percent it's not like they're trying they fucking did it and so now the next move is move on to the fucking boats and get these fucking hydro injection motherfuckers and injectify that shit like a goddamn tetanus shot there you go these white niggas over here in scotland figured it out can the rest of the superior race catch up <laughs> maybe not probably not probably don't want to because way too many white people are fucking coons fucking buck dancing white coons that are pro-capitalism and you boot licking motherfuckers will keep on going ahead with what the corporation tells you to do because you don't even want your own freedom you want to be a fucking slave you fucking boot licking buck dancing coon ass motherfucker <sighs> but shout out to them orkney niggas get it down get it cracking i'll go out there and play around a round of golf with ya <laughs> <laughs>